A Metro Detroit couple says they found their dream home in Livingston County. But they believe that dream was stopped by a realtor who discriminated against them because they're an interracial couple. Grant Herms spoke to the family who said they're headed to court. When Julie and Verdell Franklin found their dream cottage, they knew they had to act fast. But it quickly turned into a nightmare. They're saying in federal court that they were discriminated against for being an interracial couple. You know, she wanted to know what time we wanted to meet and like, you know, explained everything to me. And then when we got up there, she was like a different person when we walked in and she saw us. In the lawsuit in the Eastern District of Michigan, the Franklins allege almost nothing about the realtor felt right ignoring them, not asking basic questions, and eventually telling them they wouldn't be accepting anything less than the listing price in cash. The Franklins made their offer at that price of $300,000 and waited. A few weeks later, they saw the cottage had been sold for the same price with a mortgage to a white man. I got in the car, I just went home, I cried the whole night, and, you know, like, I just couldn't believe it. You know, and then we have to tell the kids. From my aspect, it would have given me a chance to work with my boys on rebuilding this thing and they would have had that forever. The Franklin sent discrimination complaints to both the Livingston County Realtors Association and the Fair Housing Authority, who said they should look into a lawsuit. We've been married for over 30 years and uh, we've been through some things as an interracial couple, but never anything this like this. The Franklins say this isn't going to stop them from trying to get another place on the lake but they are hoping for some accountability. We would we would hate for this to happen to anyone else, yeah. and that's the whole point of this. We did try to reach the realtor that they're accusing of discrimination in court, but did not get a comment back. In Brighton, Grant Herms, Local 4.